The People's Democratic Party, PDP, was in power for 16 years until the All Progressives Congress, APC, took over the mantle of running the affairs of the country four years ago. There has been allegations and counter-allegations from these two major political parties. The PDP had alleged that the National Electoral Commission, INEC, is out to rig the 2019 general elections in favor of the All Progressives Congress. The People's Democratic Party raised the allegation before the European Union, United States and other international agencies. This development has no doubt set her on war with the ruling party. By attacking INEC and PDP, it is a defeatist approach. PDP is creating an alibi such that after an election, which they are going to lose, because nothing on ground suggests that Nigerians have forgiven them, and they have not shown any evidence of remorse, neither have they shown any evidence that have turned a new leaf. It's still the same PDP, same attitude, same havaris, same precarious approach to national life and issues. So there's no any evidence that party has changed. Nigerians have shown clearly that they have rejected them, and the elections will confirm them. It won't be INEC, it won't be police that will vote against them. It is the Nigerian electorate. The ruling party APC spokesperson Malam Larry O'Neillu, while responding to questions on allegations of corrupt politicians who decamped to the APC, maintained that the party is not a safe heavens for corrupt politicians. The fact that you are in APC as proven by several cases in court regarding corruption, that it is not an excuse for you to escape justice. So, even those who came along during major were accepted with the impression that they have turned a new leaf. But as events shown later, it turned out that they only came thinking it was going to be business as usual. And when they found out it wasn't going to be, they went back to their evil nest called the PDP. Onilu says the country is headed towards a future that guarantees stability, economic buoyancy, world-class infrastructure, reward for hard work, and the security of the nation. In Abuja, Gadwin Amundi, Liberty News.